What's going on, everybody? We have another show. I know I have so many shows, but uh, here's another podcast episode where uh, I want to introduce Chris. He is the new iOS developer at Aluna. Say what's up, Chris. What's up? What's going on, people? Yeah, so you'll hear more from him in a bit, but I want to introduce the, the premise of the show. So uh, if you saw my video where we I put out to hire an iOS developer, Chris was the winner of that sweepstakes, if you will. Uh, <laughs> but um, so I thought, you know, any new developer, right, I yeah. want to talk to them at the end of each week. How are things going? You know, what did you like about your first week? What can I do better? Mm-hmm. Just to recap, you know, how that's going. Yeah. And then me always wanting to create content every chance I get, I was like, well, shit, why don't we just make this a podcast yeah, and, yeah. and put it out there? Yeah. So that is the premise of the show. We are filming just the first one. So if you're only on YouTube and you like the videos, I'm sorry, only the first one's going to be filmed because uh, this is going to be a podcast. So iOS Dev Discussions, there's the podcast plug. <laughs> Definitely go to that for future episodes. Uh, I'm calling this show the first month because every Friday we're going to sit down, talk about this. And again, the idea is for you, the camera, like I'm looking at the camera now, but for much of the show, it's just going to be Chris and I talking. Like the camera's a fly on the wall. That's kind of the idea here. Mm-hmm. Um, so I forgot where I was going with that, but uh, whatever. Let's, yeah, let's jump, right <laughs> let's into just, yeah, just jump yeah. into it. <laughs> so Chris, introduce uh, yourself, how, you know, where you're from. Yeah. Um, so I am an iOS developer now, um, from New York, a little town in Baldwin. Uh, it's like right next to Queens. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Nice. So let's talk about, like you said, this is his first iOS developer job. Well, you did some contracting a little bit before, but this is the first like full time salaried position, all that good stuff. So I alluded to it earlier. Let's talk about how you got here. So, uh, like I said, I put out the video on my channel. Uh, by the way, we're drinking some white wine, real classy here oh, yeah. at, at Aluna, Friday <laughs> night. Get loose a little yeah, bit, yeah. You know, you know. Um, so anyway, I put out the video. Uh, many people probably know about that. If you don't know about that, I'm going to link to that, and you can watch it. I'll probably show a little clip here. And before we get into the details of the job, like here's the reason I'm doing this, and here's the reason I'm putting this out on a video. And, and I got permission to do this, by the way. And, and we're not just like hiring iOS developers here in Silicon Valley, like from around the way. Uh, I, if you follow my story, you know that I, I've said this time and time again. When I got my first iOS developer job, I always say somebody took a chance on me. Like I was fresh out of a boot camp, I wasn't qualified for that job developer wise, right? Um, but they liked me and they took a chance on me, and that just jump started my career, and I was off and on my way. And now I have the opportunity to give that back to somebody else, like right? one of you, hopefully. So what I want is for somebody in the community out there that. I know, or not know, but maybe I've interacted with on Twitter and I know they've been really, really working towards that first iOS developer job. Uh, This is my chance to pay it forward to the community and again, give somebody that opportunity, take a chance on them and just watch them take off. But I put it out saying I wanna hire a first time iOS developer. So I have not talked to you about this. I haven't heard your side of the story. Yeah. What, like walk me through your process, right? You see that oh, video, man. what are you thinking? Cause you responded pretty quickly. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let me give you a little bit of background first. Um, during that time, uh, I had just ended a contract uh, that ended kind of shaky and I didn't have any like, I was basically naked when it comes to opportunities. Um, I had a little bit of leftover change from the last contract and I was like trying to find my way at this point. Um, and I had, uh, made a Twitter last year, but this year during the beginning of the year, I really started to use it more. Um, I wanted to delve, immerse myself in the, in the community mm-hmm. more. Um, and I started following, you know, all the people that I knew from YouTube. So Brian Vong, uh, uh, Kilo Loco, um, Sean Allen, of course. I was say you're missing, you're missing one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, um, so after after about I would say about a week of uh, using Twitter, uh, two weeks something like that, I seen Sean Allen post a video um, that he was going to be leaving his company, and he needed to replace find a replacement, and it could be a junior developer, and I think the junior developer words was the was the yeah. thing that really like got me pumping because I didn't have you know I didn't have. Uh, a iOS dev job at the point at that time and um, this will this would be my first one mm-hmm. so that really perked my ears and, and that's exactly what I was looking for because and it's funny I got a lot of like responses like I have five years experience here's my portfolio and it would be a beautiful exactly. portfolio <laughs> I was like I'm sure you're great but that's not the point of this right right because you know, somebody took a chance on me when I wasn't fully ready yeah. and I feel like it's done well for my career so like yeah. I gotta pay that forward you know hopefully yeah. it'd be somebody else's launching pad oh yeah I so you responded that. yeah yeah you responded uh, on Twitter 
Uh, so how that went was I got like 150 responses and narrowed it down to, of the initial like feedback, narrowed it down to 15 that I was going to do a phone call with. Mm-hmm. You're one of those 15. Like, I, again, I want to get your thoughts. Like, did you think you were going to be one of the 15? Like, how did you feel during this process? Were you like oh, confident man. or were you so, just like? So uh, something I left out. When you posted, when you posted the, the, the video, um, I immediately went to your bio on Twitter mm-hmm. and I saw... Um, that you're a basketball junkie and that along with the video the information from the video seeing that in your bio like perked me up a little bit more because yeah. you know I played I played uh, some d2 ball uh, so I really got excited that's when I I was like okay let me let me contact this yeah, guy yeah, Maybe yeah. we can connect on, on some type of level and you responded pretty pretty quickly you responded you responding in general was like <laughs> oh shit he yeah, responded. Yeah. And then uh, on top of that, you responded pretty re- relatively quickly, and then I really got excited. Then I responded back, uh, yeah. and then you know the rest is history. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, uh, it, well, not quite. We're not quite done with sure, that. Sure, this sure, part. Sure, yeah, sure, yeah. Sure. So, <laughs> so you, you made it to the 15 phone phone screens. I'm not gonna lie. Like the basketball thing was, a, 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 you know, a, a common connection, right? Because. Yeah, you know, you have to be careful. You don't want to like hire your friends kind of thing. Right. But at the same time, the more you have in common with somebody, because we're going to be working closely together, That's even right. after I leave here, we're still going to be working closely together. So right. you have to like have something in common or like enjoy the person at least, right? right. There is some aspect of you have to be able to get along. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the basketball thing um, and, and like, you know, I knew you were contracting and you told me you'd done some boot camps. Yep. So I got a um, lot of uh, much anybody that responded to me that had done a boot camp pretty much made it to the next round um, because I knew they had a baseline. Right. Like, right, like if you did a boot camp, I'm not saying you're an amazing developer, but I know you at least I know where your baseline's at, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so basically, anybody that had done a boot camp made it. But uh, like I said, you you were definitely in there with the basketball connection. Mm-hmm. So now we're onto the phone screens, right? Oh, How did yeah. you think that one? Because I only talked to 15 people on a video call. After that video call, were you feeling like good about it? Were you honestly nervous? Honestly, I wasn't. I wasn't sure. Like there were there were no like. Telltale signs, uh, you know, that you were interested yeah. in, in me specifically. It was just, you know, I, I felt the conversation were really well. We connected, um, but after that, I was just like, all right. I mean, I put my best foot forward. Yep. Let's see. Let's see what happens. <laughs> well, yeah. and then, so and then from there, so I'm a little bit of a softy. Like I had, I had all those calls went very, very well. I shouldn't say all of them. Like the vast majority of them. So my original plan was to only have five people go to the take home test. But like I had, wow. I had great calls with ten of the fifteen people, so I was like, you know what? Wow, I, wow, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I was trying to narrow it down to five, and I was like, these five people I'm cutting, like I re- or I was would have been cutting. I was like, I really liked what I what I heard from them. I was like, yeah. I feel terrible cutting them without even seeing what they can do, yeah. you know, with the take home project. So yeah. I shifted the interview flow a little bit to giving ten people the take home project, mm. um, which was making a waking movie app. Um, you did that. Yeah, yeah. How did you feel after, not before we talked, but like, were you confident in the product you delivered? Cause you had, so there was two projects that really yeah. stood out, you yeah. and the other finalist yeah. and you, you were like head and shoulders above the rest. So I'm just yeah. curious when you turned it in, were you like, oh, I did good there? Or were you just like, eh, we'll see. Um, uh, yeah, I was like, uh, we'll see because I had prior, prior to doing that coding challenge, I had did about over the course of late last year, I did about five to six uh, interviewing with other companies. Right. So I was used five to five to six the, other take home projects. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah, I yeah. was used to doing coding challenges. Um, so when that hit, when when I had to do that one, I was like, oh, okay, let's get it. Let's get, yeah, let's, yeah. Let's get right. And, and I want I want to build on that because I know a lot of people that applied to this job. This was like their first time ever interviewing. And uh, so like to your point, like you had to interview with five and six other people. Yeah. You and yeah, that made yeah. the take home project real easy. So yeah. this is kind of a good message to other people out there that may have done one interview and they're yeah. disappointed. It's like, yeah. no, no, this is a process. Like, and, and the fact that this was your sixth one, <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh, we got this. Yeah. And it showed because yeah. your project stood out way above like all the rest. So yeah, it the first one showed. I did, I, oh my God, the first interview, I bombed completely. Yeah, yeah. It's, like, I put myself out there. That's, I think that's the key. You just got to put yourself out there. See what you have to work on. Get some feedback. Yeah, and that'll help you. I, I always use. Forward. I know you'll relate to this, but yeah. I, to the audience, I always use the analogy of like a sports team, a young up and coming basketball team, mm. right? Like they, they never win the championship their first time to the playoffs. Exactly. You exactly. make the playoffs, you get knocked out first round. <laughs> exactly. Next year, you come back, maybe make it a little deeper, yeah. and then it's a progression that takes yeah. like three or four years usually yeah. before you win the championship. Yeah. And I think interviewing is like the same thing. You yeah, got to get yeah. that playoff experience. Oh yeah. You know, you're not going to win. It makes you hungry. It makes you hungry yeah. too. Yeah, and you're not going to win it the first time. I mean, don't get me wrong, it could happen, but <laughs> most likely you're not. You're not going to win it that first time. Yeah, but yeah. that experience is what allows you to win it, you know, the third, fourth, or fifth time. Right. You know, so it's it's a required kind of thing. Right, right. All right, now let's move on to the, like the final interview because you were in New York, 
And so yeah. you had a disadvantage because everybody else was kind of local, so they could come in person. Yeah. And I don't care who you are, like an in-person interview is going to be much better than a Skype interview because yeah. those are oh, just yeah. so awkward. So yeah. we did the final interview. Uh, How would you feel after that? When you're down, you're down to the final five at this point, right? <sighs> Yeah, so the the Skype interviews were interesting. Uh, it was I had I had went up to my grandmother's room, and I had I was watching my little brothers. They were running around and stuff like that. So I was kind of distracted a little bit. Um, but as as far as like the interviews go, I think they went pretty well. But you could still feel like so there was a little bit of a disconnect, right? There because was, of like the because remote? Of, exactly yeah, yeah, because yeah, yeah, of the yeah. remote. Um, so after, I, I mean, I put, I put my best foot forward, you know, like, like anything else. Um, but after I felt like, oh, okay, I mean, mm, I may not get it and I understand why. Yeah, yeah. Um, but this is just another one, you know, chalk it up. Yeah. I, and I actually fought for you a little bit on that note because <clears throat> not that you were like low on the list, but I, I had to like, when we were in our deliberations, <clears throat> excuse me, I was like, you got to remember he was remote. Like all yeah. these other people, you got to sit down face to face and that's right. totally different. So right. he was at a disadvantage. Um, so yeah, so I had to like make sure everybody remembered that. But um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, you made it to the to the final round, the final two. Yeah. And what happened was, you two were just like neck and neck. To be honest with you, yeah. it was just so close. And I had more context than the rest of the team, yeah. right? Because I did the initial call, I had reviewed your project, but they only had that quick thirty minute right. Skype call with right. you, so they didn't have like a lot of context. Right. So we just felt really bad making that decision right. without bringing you guys back in, yeah. which was a burden on especially you because you yeah. we flew him in from New York to San Francisco. Yeah. So he had to make like a, <laughs> yeah. a trip across the country yeah, yeah. Um, for that. Yeah, and I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah. and it, it gave you a chance. Yeah. And, and it, it really showed because they said that in the deliberations. They're like, mm. wow, I have a totally different impression of him in person than over Skype. Wow. And not that yeah. they were like, he sucks over Skype. Now he's amazing. Yeah, yeah. But they were like, Okay, yeah, I get it now. Yeah, yeah. You know, because I was fighting. I was like, no, no, like, give him a chance kind of thing. They weren't, yeah. again, I don't want to give the impression they're like, no, not him. Yeah. But, um, I, yeah, so when, once you came in person, you, you did very, very well. Yeah. And they were just like, okay, yeah, yeah. I sure. feel like I feel like when you're in person with someone, you could actually feel their energy, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and that's very important. You, you could tell whether you can work with this person or not. Yeah. But you feel the energy, so. So that's yeah. a good point. So anybody out there that's, like, thinking – should I travel for an in-person interview or, oh, you know yeah. what I mean? Like definitely do it. Yeah, it's pretty lazy. Just be like, no, no, I'll, you know, I'll interview over Skype, no, whatever, but no, that's, no. you're going to cost yourself. If yeah, you do that. exactly. Yeah, yeah. It's always better in person. So we made the decision. You got the job. Do you remember where, cause you were still in San Francisco oh, when you got shit. it. Do you remember where you were, when you got the, the, the news, how'd you react? Oh man, that, that, that was a day. So I was, I was actually at Uber. Um, interviewing at Uber? No, <laughs> no. no I was, <laughs> I was uh, visiting a friend. One of my friends work at Uber. Uh, a couple of friends, actually. And yeah. um, I was sitting down with them having lunch. And I was telling them, look, I just had an interview. I'm excited. I'm jittery. I'm, I'm wondering, you know, when the call comes, is, is this it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get the call from Sean. And I look at my phone and I look at everybody else and they're looking at me like, oh, go enter it, go <laughs> yeah, enter yeah, yeah. it. So, so I walk out and I'm by the elevators and Sean gets on the line and he's like, you ready? Ready to go to work? And I, I like, remember you didn't quite know what I was saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I remember that. You were like, was, wait, wait, what are you saying? Yeah. <laughs> I remember there was that. a moment of silence. I'm like, are you, are you saying what I think you're saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you ready to go to work? I'm like, yeah. I'm, oh, my God. Are you serious right now? And yeah. I just started screaming. I remember. <laughs> in Uber? Yeah, in Uber. In Uber. It's funny because I, when I was in, I was by the elevators and someone had came out while I was like Going screaming out. hysterically. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they were like, is everything, is everything all right? I was like, right. oh, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, I'm yeah, fine. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, well, that's awesome. So yeah. here you are now. And I have to point out, this dude, first day of work. Dress shirt, nice jeans, <laughs> dress shoes. Second day of work, same thing. Here we are, four days into the job. He's in sweats, t-shirt. Like I was like, I, he's adjusting to startup life yeah, real yeah. quick, real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I, had to, I had to give him shit for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got me. You got me. Because <laughs> I remember you even said in your yeah. interview, you're like, I feel overdressed. Because again, yeah, you were like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Dude, I, I rock basketball shorts and a hood. I haven't done it yet because it's been cold. But like, mm. yeah, it's very, very laid back and casual. It's here. funny because it's different in. It, the new, the culture the startup culture in New York is different from San Francisco. Yeah, I think, um, well, at least the places that I interviewed at, uh, you know, they were everybody was tie, you know, slacks, really, dress in, shoes in startups. Yeah, I, I, in finance, and, uh, I agree. Well, but like startups, well, but 
a few startups and and one I, I had interviewed at AMC actually. Okay. Too, like the TV station. Thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, they have a couple of apps, Sundance now and and Shutter, I think it's called. Mm -hmm. um, but they were all like, they were all dressed properly. Yeah. Um, what do you mean properly? Pro this is not properly. <laughs> no, <I'm> not <laughs> yeah. not but they were all dressed up, you know. <laughs> and uh, so so when I got when I got this one, I seen that people were relaxed. It's a lot more chill. Yeah, yeah. Um, which you know was pretty cool. So yeah, yeah. It's a it's a common kind of like saying or thought out here is like the guys in suits probably work for the guy in the jeans and the hoodie out here mm. you know what i mean like because i mean not to say that i make money but if you're, if you're a billionaire <laughs> yeah yeah you're not wearing a suit and tie you're yeah, wearing yeah. whatever the hell you you're want chilling. you're just being you're comfortable chilling. yeah exactly. you're not trying to impress anybody you're exactly. like exactly you know so none to prove um but no i mean that's just the culture out here just like come in here like perform at a high level do right. your job Give a shit what you're wearing. Exactly. Well, I mean, to a certain level. Yeah, right. Wear something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, don't yeah. Come yeah, in, yeah you know. Exactly. So, anyway, I had, to, I had to give you shit about your yeah. not not shit. I mean, I like how you adapted quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Had to. Um, so, so now you're here. Uh, let's talk about your first week, right? Because this is he started Monday. Oh, Today yeah. is Friday afternoon. Yeah. Um, so the first thing I had him do was kind of review the product and then dive into the code base. This was this was Monday, right? Because you got to get yeah. familiar, and it's kind of like. Drink it from a fire hose a little bit. Yeah. Uh, what were your first impressions of like a you know production level code base kind of thing? Was it overwhelming? Was it too much? Because this, to be uh, fair, this isn't even like a super huge app, but it's still pretty big. I have I have one thing to say. Clean fucking code. <laughs> yeah. Clean fucking. Everybody code. knows I preach that. <laughs> Clean fucking. This guy Sean definitely practices what he preaches. Clean fucking code, and that allowed me to like really get up to speed with the code base. Um, I'm like, I got the ball rolling on pull requests, merged, like it, clean code is the way to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, I mean, you're and now you're making me want to take the credit because I was, <laughs> I was going to give you, no, I'm not really, I was, I was going to give you a compliment that like you're, you're way, you're way ahead of where I expected you to be. I mean, to be fair, I mean, I didn't, I didn't know what you were capable of fully. Right. You know right, what I mean? Right. So like we had him do it again. He, I think he was writing code the second day that night was the first pull request. Mm -hmm. And ever since that second day. I just been throwing problems at them yeah, and yeah. pull requests. Like it's yeah, yeah. my initial plan was to be like, all right, it's gonna take you a few days to review the code base. Just kind of review the code base, write down questions, and yeah. learn. And I realized kind of after the first day, I was like, I'll oh, scrap that. Let's just start giving, yeah, yeah, let's yeah, start giving exactly. them stuff to do. That's the best way to learn um, anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah just for sure. It. Yeah. So, so that was Monday, Tuesday. Let's talk about like some specifics. Like, mm -hmm. what was what was the first code you committed to the Aluna code base? Like, what was your first uh, pull request? So the first pull request was uh, a pulsating animation. Um, we wanted to draw more attention to one of the buttons um, so that the user could see that, okay, I could press this. Um, and that was the first thing, adding, adding the animations. It was a little, it was a little annoying um, at first because it was clunky. But uh, the ended, animation was the clunky. Animation yeah, was yeah, clunky yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but we ended up fixing that. Yeah, yeah, we had to dial it in. So I might, I might put a little video of it on the screen so those of you that are familiar with the home screen with all the planets on it we have this little satellite looking thing that is our in-game store and it, it floats up and down and mm -hmm. i thought that would be enough to make people think about it but mm -hmm. what we were discovering in our onboarding is that people weren't they had no idea it was a store they had no idea it was clickable right. so we had a little pulse say like hey look <laughs> at me yeah yeah um, yeah <laughs> and, and the thing that you're talking about that was clunky is that it would pulsate for a certain amount of time, yeah. but at the end of the animation it would like snap back to, the, was, to yeah. the scale of 1.0 exactly so, Exactly. Chris had to work on timing the animation, so like the pulsate as it got bigger back to 1.0, yeah. like that's where it stopped. So it was like super smooth pulsate. Exactly. Yeah, it was um, it was mostly trial and error uh, yeah, for yeah. the most part. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the first couple pull requests, obviously we got to ease you into it. Mm -hmm. Gave you some, e <laughs> some easy tasks, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Do this animation. <laughs> Uh, to be fair, he did fix some stuff like that hover animation. I hadn't even looked at it yet. I was like, I don't want to deal with this. It's probably gonna be oh, a pain in the, the ass. Oh, when the when the uh, yeah, store yeah. button comes into the screen. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You, you fix that before. Like I, I was like, cool. It, it works. <laughs> like, <I don't> <laughs> um, well, so and then you just recently did like a a big one. One that again I hadn't even thought about yet. When I say I haven't even thought about it, so we have this list of like bugs to fix. Mm -hmm. And basically, if you've seen the store that I've talked about, where you swipe through the noses, swipe through the body, swipe through the tails to pick your different rocket. Um, right now, when you go to the store, or before Chris did this, when you go to the store, it would always start at the, the first rocket, right. the, the orange one. Yeah. We wanted to have that be whatever the user has currently equipped, because you can mix noses, bodies, and tails. Yeah. We wanted it to scroll to that combination right away. So yeah. that's what you're working on like yesterday and today, right? Yeah. Um, um, and that was, that, I would say that was like your first like real one. Real, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> the other the ones were like one. pretty yeah. easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the other ones like... I could have done it in two minutes, not not to like say something, but like I knew no. how to do it. I could have done it in two minutes, but I wanted you to get this one. This one though, 
I hadn't even thought about, and I was like, oh, that might be a pain in the ass. I didn't yeah. even put any thought into it, but I was <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, but yeah. let's see what he can do. I, yeah, threw, yeah. I threw it at you, and, you know, it took you, what, a day? and Not even uh, a day. Yeah, I, I think, did I start that today, or was it I yesterday? I don't know. I don't, do your, I don't do your job. I don't know. I'm not, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, he, he threw it. I think, I think Sean was filling me out, to be honest, just mm-hmm. to see where I was at. And he, well, you were he blowing kept, through the easy stuff. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> so he, was, was, throwing, like, he was throwing things at me. And then uh, he threw this one at me. He, he probably was like, oh, I, I got him. I got him on this <laughs> yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. But, um, uh, yeah, I figured it out in, in about, what, 15, 15, 20 minutes, something like that. Well, did you, uh, though? Did you, though? Because I think we had to go back and forth a couple right. times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I submit, submitted the first full request. And, um, he, he, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It was a little, little buggy at first, but no, we got through it. I mean, it, and again, this is where I was going to compliment you that, like, you're – like I said, I had no idea what that entailed. I had no thought, didn't even think about it. So I didn't know how long it was going to take. You knocked it out pretty quickly, yeah. um, which was good. It, it's honestly to the point where like this weekend, I'm going to have to like figure stuff out for him to do. Because yeah. I've already <laughs> thrown at him stuff that's like reasonable. Because a lot of the other stuff, you have to have a lot of context of how the original piece was built. Because right. Right? if we're building on top of a certain feature, like and it's intertwined with that feature, and you have no context of that feature, it's going to be really, really hard for you to learn. Yeah. This, I mean, the, yeah. the reality of it is, is that's pretty much all that's left. So I think... Yeah. I'm just going to have to throw it at you, and you're just going to have to hop on the struggle bus and, yeah. <laughs> and, and fight your way through it. Got to do what I got to do. I'm really interested to see uh, how we're going to tackle the networking aspect, actually. The refactoring um, of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We need to, I, I, and again, so a lot of this stuff, like I was saying, I have a list. Like, I'm going, as stuff pops up, I'm like, yeah, we got to fix that. But right. I don't put thought into how to fix it. Right, so it's right. like, that's what we're going through. We have this list, and I thought about that. I was like, yeah, we should refactor this stuff, yeah. but I haven't put any thought in it. So we need yeah, to sit yeah. down and, like, go through that. So... Just overall, like now that your first week's done, like what what are your what are your thoughts? Your first iOS job, how is it working here? Uh, kind of what is it? What you thought it would be? Is it vastly different? It's, it's amazing. Um, I've I've been working for what six seven years now, um, trying to learn how to program and trying to get into the field. And now that I'm actually here, it's I I really didn't have any expectations. Um, but now that I'm here, it it's really like a dream come true for me. Um, this is everything I've been working on for yeah, few yeah, years yeah, now. Yeah. So, what, so what, what would you say was like the highlight of your week, your your first week here, besides uh, wearing sweatpants to work? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> That'd probably. Be my, that would be my highlight. <laughs> uh, I mean, there was a couple. I can't really. I can't really. So the first day uh, when I came in initially, I met with the CEO, Charvi. And we immediately connected. She saw that I was really happy to, to be there. Yeah. And I could tell she was really happy to have me there. Um, and then she, she showed me the MacBook uh, and, and the oh, right. big-ass monitor you, 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 she you got You got the me. setup. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. Wor- used to working on just a laptop. He <laughs> yeah. got, well, you got pretty much the same laptop, essentially. Another 13-inch MacBook Pro, but yeah. a nice... 27 inch monitor. Hell yeah, hell yeah. I fought for the ultra wide, but they said they said that was too expensive. Oh man, <laughs> I tried. I'm, I'm, the one I have now is awesome though, so yeah, I'm yeah. not complaining. Especially if you're not used to working yeah. on a second display, exactly. you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. yeah. Um, but it was it was that that um, that event was was really good. That was a highlight. Um, also going out to lunch. Um, oh, yeah, that your, first day yeah, yeah, your first was day, yeah. was definitely a highlight. To be fair, that was the nicest place we've ever gone out to lunch to. Really? <laughs> yeah, as far as like for a team thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we always go out to lunch a lot, but it's always to like a local sandwich shop or, or something. That was like a fancy ass restaurant. Oh, so she, she did it up. <laughs> yeah, 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 up yeah, yeah. Okay, nice, nice. And then you're going to double dip because your yeah. birthday is in like two weeks. Exactly. And go again. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You should just quit after that. <laughs> get, all these, get all these. And then we have pizza the next day for Sprint planning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. That was another highlight, actually, Sprint planning. Yeah. Um, And then the third day, uh, it was it was the meeting with the marketing team yeah uh, which which i enjoyed a lot uh, as well um yeah we were going over the what the landing page is going to be for the website yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly uh, that was pretty cool and oh man the first i think probably the the biggest highlight was the yeah. first merge Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. For that's me, always that, a, that's always a big milestone. Yeah, yeah, like, even though it was just a simple animation, just yeah. like knowing your code is now is part, part of the, this. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. It's like okay, and now I'm officially a part of the right, team. Right, right, right. So. Well, which is good because I mean, yeah. well, eventually, like you're gonna be the team. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that's, that's I, I told you in the beginning. I was like, <laughs> yeah, that's the yeah. mindset you gotta have. Like yeah. at first, I know it's hard because like you're coming into something, so you just want to be part of the team. But right. like, and I don't expect this right away. But like over the course of these two months, where yeah. we're working closely together, like it's going to be yours. You know? Yeah. I mean, I'm never going to let it fully go. Yeah, but. <laughs> as you should. But, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I don't yeah. want you to feel like, oh, I'm just helping out. 
Like, yeah. no, like, I want you to have, like, ownership of it, yeah, you yeah. know? Um, so, yeah, so I want you to have that mentality. Um, now, let, let's flip the script. What about, like, any low lights? And you can be honest. Like, is there anything different I can improve on? And by the way, this is all live. I haven't asked them this before. Yeah. <laughs> and don't worry about it. The camera's not here. Don't worry about it. Just yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, no, to be to be honest, I, I think you, you, you pretty much, uh, you give me the space to be able to, like, uh, figure figure shit out. And then, you know, if I have any questions, you're you're right there. Right. If I'm stuck with anything. So I think I think that's how it should be. Like let me let me jump in the pool, let me try to swim first. Yeah. If yeah. I can't swim, then you know, throw throw the buoy out. Then, right, right, you know? right. Um, so as far as that goes, I think I think And and that's pretty much how it's gonna be even after I leave. So Right, like I gotta, I appreciate Luna for letting me do what I did. Like, mm. hey, let me hire a random junior developer who's never worked before. Right, like that's yeah, what that's, I wanted to do, but that's yeah, yeah. selfish Sean stuff. Like, yeah. Luna's a company; they got it. They got investors. Exactly. Like, it's a real thing. So, exactly. like, the fact that they trusted me enough to do that, uh, I'm very thankful for because I got the opportunity to like help somebody start their career. Oh yeah. Um, but kind of the stipulation there on that was that I will, I'm, I'm still going to contract with Luna and be. Like, so I'll be reviewing your code. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah, it yeah. was like, I'll, I'll always be the lifeline. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, the phone yeah. a friend. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'm not just, like, quitting and <laughs> yeah, being yeah. gone. So, like, if you do yeah. get in trouble, you do get stuck. You know, I'm still going to work or, you know, contract with them five to ten hours a week. Again, yeah. reviewing your code uh, at night. So, that was kind of the stipulation Which on, like, doing definitely reassuring this. for me. Yeah, uh, and, and for sure. I mean, like, yeah. you've, not just you, like, whoever was in this position has never had an iOS job before. So, right. it's a lot to ask of them to be, like, Okay, now you own the product. <laughs> yeah, right, right. <laughs> like, wait a minute, what? I don't know what I'm doing. You know? Yeah, so Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so is there anything else you'd like to add about your first week before we wrap up with some bonus questions? Um Yeah, I mean that's that's pretty much well, I forgot a highlight. Yeah, yeah, uh, go ahead. We, we play we play ball. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Monday. Monday. That's, that's, well, I already told him about this, so I'm I'm doing this just for the camera, but you missed yeah. last night. Last night was the the most talent, not the yeah. most, but th I told him this game kind of happens once a quarter where like everybody just happens to show so up, all the top that. tier people. Yeah, yeah. And there were just like three really stacked teams where like even like one of these stacked teams would have ran all night normally, and there was like three of them. It was it was, it was yeah. really really good. Uh, on, on that note though, we'll kind of jump to one of the bonus questions because I yeah, get yeah. I get this question all the time. What's that about? Like, oh, what kind of game is it? Are they any good? Because like I'll admit, I don't look like much. Like you'll see me on video, you're like. Yeah, sure, he plays basketball mm -hmm. kind of thing. Mm -hmm. how, how was the game? Pretty good? Pretty how, not good? How was your game? No, 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 no. How was the, the, I mean, you didn't get to see the, the great Oh, the competition. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, There's some athletes there. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There's a couple of guys there that could def, could have definitely went overseas. Yeah. Like, it's 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 no slouch. You got to come out and play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, that's, it's definitely not like... A super walk on a park. You no, play. no, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to act like it's all Division One athletes. Either. No, no, no. It's no. definitely a mix yeah. of people, but it's yeah. not a. I would say it's a pretty serious game. Like, you can you can get a nice run. You yeah, can get yeah. a nice run. I mean, like you said, you play Division Two ball. Right, right. And you're competitive there. It's, exactly. It's, it's fine. Yeah. So yeah. it's like it's not like a bunch of people that have never didn't even play high school <laughs> yeah, basketball no, 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 no. that are getting there and playing. So, yeah. but I, I just get asked that all the time because they probably just think I play in some scrub game. Ah, uh, no, I see. It's, it's definitely see. not a scrub game. No, it's definitely not. It's definitely not. No, no. I mean, I'm definitely throwing alley oops. Except um, I don't know, if, I don't know. I haven't been throwing lately because I've been out of practice a bit. Oh, uh, so Ugo, Ugo, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You I mean, one. Yeah, he, and I, he and I usually have really, really good chemistry, but I haven't because of the trip to London and everything. I haven't played a lot in mm -hmm. the past few weeks, so mm -hmm. we got to go on like a retreat or something and get our chemistry back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah most definitely. Um, yeah. So also the other bonus question that a lot of people want to know and have asked is, am I any? Am I what you expected? Right? You see videos. You see mm -hmm. me online. Am I any different? My, I don't know. Everybody, somebody asked you that, right? They were like, is he yeah. any different in the videos? Yeah, yeah, or? yeah. Yeah, I remember you responded. It's yeah, because yeah, it, it was like your first day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was like, <laughs> first day. Um, honestly, I didn't come in with any, like, expectations. Um, but I think you definitely, like, exceeded, exceeded what I thought you were going to be. Because um, the, the, I think the number one thing was the, the code. The, mm -hmm. the code was like the cleanliness yeah, of it. Yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't expect it to be like that, and I didn't expect um, the way you, the way you program is is definitely cool. Like I was, I'm a junior developer, so seeing like uh, superior programmers, like, oh wow, that's how you do that. That's how <laughs> yeah, you yeah, do yeah. That. You yeah, said that like, a couple times. Like, yeah. oh wait, well, you can do that. You can yeah, do that. Yeah, exactly. So it's that was that was pretty cool to see. Nice. And yeah, so 
Awesome. Well, yeah. well, we're we're right hitting up on the half hour thing there, so we'll just wrap it up there. That's a pretty cool spot to wrap it up at. Okay. Uh, like I said, we're just doing this video yep. uh, for the first one. Yep. Check out the podcast. It's going to be the show called The First Month. If it's well received and this is going well, we might do the second month. I don't know. We'll okay. see. Just All to right. see how, how okay. Chris is doing. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, check back in next week on the podcast, iOS Dev Discussions, for the first month, episode two. I will see you in the next one. Let's do it.